right, we've done a long cruise today. Done from, where were we? Oh no, we were Blissworth. at Blissworth. We'd done from Blissworth, down the Blissworth Tunnel. Yeah. and got down to just outside Milton Keynes, well, Cosgrove. I don't know how far it is outside Milton Keynes, it's, but I don't think it's far. Anyway, it was a good cruise, really enjoyed it. The tunnel was, I don't like tunnels. It was good, wasn't it, Lindsay? Yeah, you done yeah I did my first um, locks where I was driving. I did about three in the end. Which was very good. Smashed into a couple. Oh, I didn't smash into a couple, I bumped into a couple. Smashed into a couple, but... <laughs> it makes it sound like I'm... She's <laughs> a strong old boat, it doesn't matter. I didn't. <laughs> I bumped into them. No, she, I'm only joking. She was, Lindsay's driving has always been good. She's a brilliant car driver. She's a brilliant boat driver. What are you saying that for? Well, it's kind of like, thanks for the recommendation. It means a lot. Well, I'd be happy if you said I was a good driver. <laughs> you just, you just blatantly go, I know. <laughs> well, it's my job, wasn't it? We're now in Cosgrove, we had the same problem again, finding internet, Wi-Fi. It's going to be a problem for us, isn't it? No, it's not. All right. Yeah, so now we're just going to the shop. <laughs> he might pop in the pub. Are we going the right way? Where is the shop? I don't know. Right, anyway, we've had a good day. See you later. The weather today is horrible raining all day long it's what's the time it is nearly 11 o'clock just been to the cafe for some breakfast we was gonna we was gonna push on today but because of the rain what do you think we should do well you can't make us out to be fair weather cruisers that's easy for you to say you sit indoors <laughs> i'll drive we'll see what happens we've got we really we kind of got to get to the supermarket tesco's at, um i can't remember where it is it's not that far probably about half hour We'll see how it goes, anyway. It's time the dogs for a walk. Lindsay's dawdling along, she always does. Sorting myself out, putting, putting my coat on properly, making myself feel comfortable. Don't make yourself look beautiful then. <laughs> no, no, we've gone long past that. No, you haven't. Anyway. My legs hurt. We went for another bike ride this morning. Yeah, it's not just his legs hurt. <laughs> I was going to explain that bit. Because we're in Milton Keynes now. Are we in Milton Keynes? Yeah, I think we are. <laughs> we rode the bikes into Milton Keynes. Didn't yeah, we? but we might not. We. Oh, put the leads on. Come, dogs. Oh, here he goes, like doing his bizzo. Spins around about 30 times. <laughs> it's dizzy. <laughs> right, I'll turn away now. <laughs> Let's focus on Lindsay for a minute. Anyway, that's a nice view, isn't it? Through that bridge. Boat's up there. Tell you what, Milton Keynes ain't half bad, is it? Well, this part is. We went for a few dodgy bits earlier. <laughs> we didn't go for a dodgy bit. What? That's rude. <laughs> they were dodgy. Well, not compared to where we're from, but they were a bit dodgy. Milton Keynes, I apologise for Paul's description. Oh, look, there's sheep over there. That's... They're not real sheep. They're wooden sheep. Oh shit, we ain't got mics on. Yeah, go on, keep closer then. Sorry, we've, we forgot <laughs> our mics. Yeah, look at these carved sheep, pretty cool. Buddy's just pissed up one. We went into Milton Keynes this morning to go get a new SIM card. A bit boring, but because our, our internet woes have carried on, have continued. Can't get decent internet. So I've ordered a load of gear that's coming this week. So it should sort it, shouldn't it? Hopefully. We're plot up. We're here until Friday, I think. And I quite like Milton Keynes. Yeah, I've only ever seen Willen Park, Willen Lake. Sorry, that's where me and my friends used. We used to meet halfway. Yeah, and this is. I mean, this isn't. This is, all, all of Milton Keynes is not like this. This is the outskirts, isn't it? But I think it's all right. Yeah, it's really nice. Anyway, we're going to carry on with our walk. See you later. Bye. We've got a very good friend coming to deliver our Wi-Fi equipment, which is nice of her, isn't it? Her name's Hayley, and she's really, really nice. <laughs> you all right, Lindsay? 
I need to get dressed earlier. <laughs> um, we have had an issue with our pump out. For some stupid reason, I didn't buy an adapter. You need an adapter to go in the hole to make a tight fit on the pump out boom and we didn't buy one the last marina we went to where we did the pump out they had an adapter so we kind of assumed oh they're all going to have adapters they haven't yeah the only place that seems to sell them is Lisan and Midland Chandlers so we've had to send for one from Midland Chandlers and they're delivering it to the post office but we don't know when do we Lindsay yeah let's not tell Hayley that I eh? could have had the um internet sent to the post office as well we didn't know that <laughs> not the time we only figured that out yesterday yeah so somebody on Facebook said send it to the post office anyway that's what's happening see you later I thought I'd show you our we've, we've been talking about our wi-fi in the last video and how, how poor it was and so on so we have invested in some new gear we've bought a new antenna a point hang i think that's how you pronounce it four by four and we bought a we have bought a new router an industrial rut x14 we was getting about six down from our old router and antenna which was obviously rubbish in this location uh, sometimes we were getting more but mostly that was what we was getting sometimes it was it was just non-existent so i'll show you what we're getting now That's on the free network, or Smarty. Pretty damn good. And our uploads are about 25. So we're really happy, it's working at the minute. The great thing about the router is it's got dual SIM, so um, we've just got an EE data SIM as well. So when the Smarty network is not fast enough, it just falls over to the EE network and vice versa. Oh, give me a lead. Why? There's a road there. Road? What's a road? I haven't seen a road in ages. Look at all the little flowers coming out. Oh, that means spring's coming, I think. Uh, Lindsay is. <laughs> Stop, Phil will be picking poo up duty. poo. She's got three bags of poo. One of the bags of poo is not our dog's poo, some great Dane type <laughs> animal. Did the biggest dump I've ever seen outside our boat. We're going to Waitrose to get weekend supplies like toothpaste. <laughs> um. oh, Ad, we don't need any toothpaste. What? <laughs> Nelly, where's, where's Nelly? Nelly, you get buddy. Nelly, you get buddy. Do you mean Paul, you get buddy? There you go. Yeah, so we're not really getting toothpaste, we're just getting things we like for the weekend, like gin, tonic, and some snacks. Come on, Lindsay, keep up. Wow, look at that rain over there. How weird is that? Look at that. Oh, it's just hit us now. Oh. Right, got to go, it's raining, bye. <laughs> the dog's patiently waiting for Lindsay, although Nelly's whining a bit. It's the tense weight outside Waitrose. She's been gone about four hours. The dogs are beside themselves. It's just a waiting game. She's only gone in to buy some chicken wings. Some gin, some tonic. I oh, reckon she's been caught shoplifting. <laughs> Lindsay's back, everyone. No pink gin. 
What do you mean no pink gin? That's why we're so long. You've been gone about four hours. I know. Anyway, Waitrose trip done. We're gonna um, go back to the boat, lay about for a couple of hours. Why, why are you looking like that when I said lay about for a couple of hours? Well, because fancy, I've got to go to work. Fancy <laughs> laying about for a bit. See you later. It's a beautiful day for cruising. It's a beautiful day. Getting ready to move, can't wait. Although Milton Keynes is well nice. Ready. What have I got? Mm. Toast and butter. Boring. Lovely. Nothing wrong with a bit of toast and butter for breakfast. <clears throat> Yeah, we're going in the wrong direction. Something happened the other day that we didn't say anything about because... Um, it was a bit embarrassing. Yeah, it was embarrassing. We lost our ladder off the roof, our gangplank ladder, getting into a marina for pump out. We couldn't film it anyway because it was raining and windy and horrible. We got caught on some brambles, or the ladder did, and it pulled it into the, um, to the water. And then we couldn't get it back. We tried to stop and put our magnet in to get it back. <laughs> uh, but that was a disaster because the wind was so strong. Um, the magnet kept getting stuck to the boat. We was absolutely useless, absolutely pathetic. And then the wind was blowing so hard, we couldn't get the boat round the way we wanted to face it. It was so tight, wasn't it, Lindsay, yeah. this marina? Paul did some good manoeuvring getting it in there. Even the guys that were in the marina went, that was good because we didn't think you were going to get it in there. So he did a good job getting it in, but we got blown away. We just got blown out. all so over the place we getting just out. So decided to go in the wrong direction. Yeah, but it's all right because there's windy knolls down there, and we actually wanted to stop in the place we stopped as we was moving down, but we needed to go to the pump out, so we couldn't. So we ended up staying where we wanted to stay anyway. So yeah, we just got to go and spin round. It is a beautiful day. Excited to cruise. mission to go and find our ladder. You up for it? Lindsay's got to go and try and retrieve our ladder. Right, I'll make right. sure that the dogs stay here then. Lindsay. Ah, oh, it looks like she's failed. Well, we got a bike frame, we got a tiller arm, and there was something else there. We just couldn't pull it up. So much stuff is getting pulled off by that, um, that bramble stuff. The good thing is, there was two young people there, Leisha and Seb. So I said, at least now you know that there's something there. There's a gangplank there, so that if you pull it out, because we were fishing on the bridge, they've got a magnet as well, and they were helping me, but we just couldn't pull it out. So when the, the marina people weren't there, so oh. if they come back on Monday, I said, at least you know there's something there and it, you could pull it out. Want to have it? And they can have it, yeah. What are their names? Uh, oh, it's Leisha, sorry if it's not Leisha, but Seb, Leisha and Seb. Um, they've, uh, they've got a boat on the marina. So they came to help me. Nice one, Alicia and Seb. <laughs> well bloody done. And we had something. We feel we know where it is, but we just couldn't pull it. And it's probably stuck on something. Yeah, and we um, 
it was exactly where the, um, it went in. Oh, well, that's good. We just need to buy a gangplank now. <laughs> Three miles, but it was quite a long walk. My feet feel like it was three miles. That boat's sinking, look. <sighs> um, we've just got one lock. At the next locks, we're mooring up. Guess what's there? Um, begins with P. Public toilets. No, it's three letters. Begins with P, ends with B. Pob. Yes, it's a pub. Going to the pub. <sighs> you had a good day, Lindsay? Yeah, I've had a good day. It's very very well, it's been very peaceful. Yeah, it's been relaxing yeah. today. Very relaxing. We're oh. at Stoke Hammond. There's, there's a pub. At, there's, there's a pub there called the Three Locks. We're going to stop there and, well, you know, go in the pub. <laughs> anyway, look at that. Nice looking pub, that. Hey, Lindsay. <laughs> Yeah. Water point. Anyway, we're going to go in the pub, have something to eat. See you later. <laughs> Proper. We're, we're at the... <coughs> bloody cheap as well. Yeah. <laughs>